The, uh, the Dow moments ago dipping below 8,000. Uh, we're coming off that low right now, down 193 points. Our uh, statistician uh, uh, on our staff has been pointing out this is one of the worst declines uh, for the beginning of the year for the Dow and the S&P we've ever yeah. seen, right? Now, we keep saying that it's because of the banks and worries about this. How come it isn't just profit-taking? All three major indexes were up almost 25% in 31 trading days, and you take profit, it goes back down, and then you start building it back up again. It's just symptomatic, though, of the doom and gloom feelings that we're having uh, on Wall Street among investors out there. And joining us is uh, noted market psychologist Doug Hirshhorn of drdoug.com. And I, I find it very interesting, Doug, the while we've been talking, you've been sitting here a while. Right. Like most psychologists, you're just sitting there taking it all in, taking notes, <laughs> nodding. More, are, more listening, less talking. That, we, that's what you learned. Uh, are we overdoing the doom and gloom uh, uh, on Wall Street right now, or is it warranted, do you think? I, I, think, it's, I think we are overdoing it. I think it's imp impacting investor psychology across the board. And what happens is, is that when people get into that fear cycle, they stop focusing on the potential opportunities that are present. And the people that will rise to the top when the smoke clears are the ones that are able to look through the fear, compartmentalize it mentally. We're all experiencing it. Compartmentalize it mentally and then focus on what they can control rather than what they cannot control. But people open up their statements from the end of the year mm -hmm. and they see that they've lost 60%. It's awful. And they start doing the math and yes. they think, even if I get 10% a year for the next decade, yes. I'm not back to where I was. Yes. That's pretty doomed. It's awful. <laughs> it's painful. But I do know one thing for sure. Sitting there, worrying about that, thinking about that is not going to help you improve. But it's also improve. a lack of confidence now in the entire system. Because you have people down 60%, as Michelle said, who did everything right. They diversified. You know, they, they had more than one money manager. They spread their assets into hard commodities, and everything went down. Right. So they not only are doom and gloom because they're down 60%, right. they don't have faith in the system. Well, they've gotten How do you punished. rebuild that? They've gotten punished for doing the right things. Psychologically, it's a very painful reality. But again, you have to look at the bigger picture and say to yourselves, you know what? What mistakes did I make? I didn't make any mistakes. I followed the right rules. Okay, it's happened. The damage is done. You have a choice. We all have conscious choice. Do I sit there and worry about those things, or do I write down what lessons do I learn? Any trader, any trader I've ever worked with has lost money at some point in time in a trade. You know, Scott Wapner, I think about uh, NASDAQ 5000, uh, which was a benchmark achieved at the bubble oh, yeah. at that time, and yeah. it fell out of bed. The NASDAQ today sits at 1400. There's a market that's just been rife for the last 10 years with the, the, the doom and gloom scenario since the, the demise of the dot-com boom, huh? Yeah, no doubt. It's had a hard time getting going. Let me just quickly answer Dennis. Dennis, my man, this ain't profit taken, buddy. No. Uh, yeah. You know, the fundamentals of the market <laughs> uh, are, are pretty try. sick. But it was, a, it was a good effort there, Dennis. Yeah. Um, let, me quick, try. let me quickly point out here about uh, technology today. I know Apple's getting a, uh, certainly a lot of the, uh, the story today. But take a look at Yahoo, for example. Down 9% today. Word coming out that perhaps that search deal that was imminent, not imminent, on again, off again, is not going to happen. Uh, perhaps Intel after the bell today with a really critical earnings report. And I know they pre-announced, but uh, what Intel goes on to say in that conference call today could go a long way okay. uh, into where technology is going to go in the near future, just because the situation has been deteriorating so rapidly. Dennis I'll tell you guys, you know, look at the uh, little page one of the Wall Street Journal. The Dow Jones fell 248 uh, yesterday amid growing concern that the bear market isn't over. The market fell because the market's been falling. We need cognitive behavioral therapy that can reinforce it. We're not going to zero here. It's going to be okay. And Mr. Dr. Hummer, Doug? What's, what's, this about, what's this about baseball that I'm reading here? Well, the, the mix-up, the, the catalyst for change. Everyone's talking about what's going to cause change. When you have, when coaches are with baseball teams, when things aren't working, they're in a slump, what they do is sometimes they will mix up the lineup. They'll put the number three hitter in the number seven spot. Change the CEO. Change, well, change the system. <laughs> now, Obama is going to create change. We're all wondering what that's going to do. But the fact is, you shake it up, and something's going to happen, and then we deal with the consequences. There's something to be said for turning a page, Absolutely. I guess. All right. Yes. Everybody put a smile yeah. on your face. You're all excused. Thank you.